Uh, a special use case for Semantic Media Wiki um, that we introduced just recently. Um, it's, um, some of you might have heard of the general, of the GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, that uh, comes into effect on the 25th, 28th of May this year, um, after a two year transition period. And it's, um, the idea of the GDPR is to bring back control over over the data back to the citizens. Um, so uh, regulations are stronger and the sa uh, sanctions are very high um, um, into the millions. So companies uh, and institutions need to take uh, this regulation very serious. It's a, it's a big challenge in Europe for, um, for the companies. We feel, it in, we feel it in Austria, companies are very behind and now they get very stressed. What, what are we gonna do about all this? And it's especially a challenge for uh, small companies, of course. Um, uh, it's a topic in between law and IT, a combination of this. Um, yeah, so people don't really like that topic, but we have a very nice solution based on Semantic Media Wiki uh, for the G GDPR. What we do is um, the regulation circles around um, a record of processing activities. So you need to keep a record of everything you do um, concerning uh, the GDPR, what sort of data you're storing, where you store it, who's got access to it, um, if you make any changes, if you um, bring in, if you launch new software, etc. Um, and you need to write all this down in this, in this record. And that's what we do with uh, the data cockpit. Um, uh, the data cockpit is uh, a project by Bernhard Krabina from uh, the KDZ. Um, it is funded, it is sponsored by uh, NetID. We've got, a, we've got a big funding for it and I'm a partner and uh, Bernhard Kravina is working with the public sector in the KDZ and I'm the um, partner for the private <coughs> sector in this project. Um, yeah, we are planning to, it's online already, uh, we're planning to uh, be able to offer it within the next couple of weeks, actually. Um, I'll show you quickly what we did. Um, you find, uh, it's a semantic media wiki, it's making use of two more semantic uh, extensions, semantic comments and semantic glossary. So what we have is um, a dashboard for all, all the data you put in. Uh, you start with uh, basic data about the organization, about the departments, the users, um, about our service partners, yeah, and, and software system, etc. Um, we put in all the um, law information, uh, the official GDPR law, uh, or Datenschutzgrundverordnung, as we would call it in German, with the um, articles, all the information, and you have some have a certain um, a very nice feature. Let me see. I need to go back. Um, what we included was um, questions to to the articles. So um, it's not a very easy to understand uh, regulation, and there are certain questions about it. Can I use Mailchimp or not? What if I lose my um, USB stick but get it back? Do I have to? Uh, but find it again, do I have to do anything about it? So we included uh, the option to ask questions. And of course, that's all, all uh, semantically uh, connected. You can ask a question uh, and somebody else is, uh, can answer this question uh, and it shows up at uh, the concerning article. That's quite a nice feature. Um, it is meant to be filled by, um, let's say, um, an authorized person within the company. Uh, yes, we also have uh, the Austrian Datenschutzgesetz included in there, which is like the older version, but it's still uh, valid. Uh, yeah, and there you got the Verfahrensverzeichnis, the record of processing, um, record of processing data. So, We make use of, of uh, page forms to fill that in. Um, you, you're, you're used to, yeah, certain topics, the, the, the persons, 
the articles it's related to, uh, documents, the software, the departments, etc. Right? Uh, yeah. And we have also, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's uh, what I wanted to mention as well. We have included a uh, semantic glossary which shows, so if I'm moving over, let's say, article six, it uh, it shows me what this article is about and it's directly linked uh, to the uh, uh, related article in the, in the regulation. That's quite a nice feature as well. Yes, any questions? Yes? Uh, Dean, um, one of the big challenges is obviously uh, tracking what you what a company does with personal information within their organization but also if it leaves the organization how are you so you, how are you um, how do you get people to capture that in in this uh, is there a form or you um, you're not actually storing any data in this uh, on this platform you're just um, storing the information where you store the data right so I'm, um, yeah. That's it. Um, but of course we, but of course you have, uh, like you have the idea if you, um, let's say you have a, a person asking for their information, they ask, okay, what sort of uh, information do you have stored about me? I want it to uh, be deleted. Then you need to take record of this as well. You need to write down, this person has contacted us and we de deleted their information. And of course you can't write a name for this. I deleted Ben's information. No, it doesn't work. So you have to, uh, uh, pseud uh, pseudonym, <coughs> how do you pronounce that? Pseudon pseudonym. Pseudonym, yes. Um, work with IDs in a way, so it's, um, but not many companies work like this with their data. So it's a challenge and a chance to restructure their uh, uh, data within the company to be able to do that. Yeah. What, what, what I don't understand, I mean, the companies have databases, mm -hmm. okay? And what you are saying is that in this system, they try to comply to the regulations of the GDPR. Or do you say, no, uh, this semantic with the wiki is going to be installed locally at the premises of the client, and there you are installing that in order to comply to the regulations? Um, well, it's only one part uh, of complying to the regulations. You need to write down what you're doing. You still need to do it in the correct way. So you still need to store the data in the correct ways in all your other databases and software systems and mm -hmm. communication systems, etc. This is just a record of where you write down how you do it on a meta level, really, ah, okay. I'd, I'd say, yeah. But these regulations, how are they going to be audited or checked or? Yeah, yeah, well. Um, <laughs> Is there a special agency for that? Uh, yes, the, uh, in, in Austria, well, in, in, in each country it's a different one. In Austria mm -hmm. it's the Datenschutzbehörde. Ah, um, okay. And they will, they will be checking like maybe one area after the other. Um, they will, will ask people questions, they will see. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, We'll see if they really sanction it, if you really get a fine, if you do something wrong, but yes. Um, to, to be seen not only from the company perspective, but from a private perspective, of course, you're in, you have interest in that, uh, that uh, companies work with your data the way you'd like them to, yeah. Safe way, yeah? Um, do you, um, um, could, in, in this wiki, could you define some checklist related with the regulation? Uh, yes. We actually have some checklist, but maybe you're thinking of something else. Um, what we try to include is, um, that's a simple checklist showing, okay, have I included everything? Um, have I thought of everything? Have I written down all the data I need to write down? Yes. Um, it's a simple um, traffic light system at the moment, like red and green and yellow and still need some information. Yeah, well, at least some guidelines. Yeah. Okay, thank you.